Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. Today we are playing Mighty Scunthorpe United of the green and black striped outfits. They look like little neon bees. We are in our usual swoodly pooper red, but aside from that, nothing is the same for the swoodly poopers because uh, I switched out all 11 of our starting players. I did this for two reasons. First, because I want them to be well rested and happy. There's Bowden Bowden probably playing his second to last game as a swoodly pooper. First, because I want them to be well rested and happy um, when the FA Cup final starts against Chelsea. And second, because I was mad at them. Uh, by the way, our referee's name is McBeany. Um, I was mad at them because they weren't playing like swoodly poopers. They weren't playing as a team. They weren't playing for each other. They weren't playing, um, <clears throat> they weren't showing the loyalty that I associate. <clears throat> Sorry, it's emotional for me. Uh, with my beloved Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers, and so I benched them. I benched all of them, except for P. Smith, uh, because Jean-Luc Picard Smith desperately needs, um, well, he needs experience, game game time experience. So we'll see how we do today. Bowden Bowden, with a, uh, with a, a skill level of 46, probably not going to have the best game of his life, but... You know, he'll do the best he can. We've got Voluptuous Paracard also starting up front. Um, Voluptuous Paracard, who, a, a player I have always respected tremendously as a man and as a footballer, but who, it has to be said, is, is partly to blame for all of the hullabaloo that's been going on with the Swoodley Poopers uh, the last uh, couple weeks. And I'm, I'm pretty disappointed that, you know, that, that he had to make such a big deal about, about feeling like he wasn't going to be part of the squad come... Um, it, if and when we get to the Premier League. I have to say, by the way, that, that I, I, I still think that there's a pretty good chance that he'll be on the team next season. Um, you know, he won't be playing every day, certainly, but I, I think he's, uh, you know, I like him. I've always liked Voluptuous Paracard, and I think Stone Cold Steve with the C. Austin probably has a future on the club, too. These, uh, some of these other guys uh, don't, but, you know, they, they didn't make quite, a big, quite as big a deal about all of this stuff, so... Anyway, it's been disappointing. It's been a tough couple weeks in Swindon. Um, I want to congratulate, by the way, the actual Swindon town, uh, the actual Swindon town, who are not the Swoodley Poopers, but the Robins, um, on their uh, giant killing victory in the FA Cup's second round. The, the Swindon town Robins are on a run of their own. Oh, that was a terrible pass, Bowden. Um, and then an unnecessary slide tackle. It's like we're watching Hank games without Hank um, from six months ago back when I was really terrible instead of just, you know, regular terrible like I am now. Um, but anyway, the, yeah, the Swindon Town Robins won the second round, their second round FA Cup tie against Colchester United. That means they're moving on to the third round where they will be playing a Premier League side, Wigan Athletic. Um, I know that everyone, everyone who supports the Swoodley Poopers will also be rooting um, for, the, uh, for the Swindon Town Robins in that third round tie, except, of course, people who live in Wigan. Um... So uh, I want to introduce you to, uh, to, to some of the guys on the club, even though in many cases this is the second to last time that you're going to see any of them. I think I'm going to stick with the starting lineup for our final FA Cup, for our final um, and power champion. Oh, that was a great opportunity. Voluptuous Paracard, you just didn't see the cross. You didn't see the through ball. It's really, whoever made that run did it. Wow, look at Voluptuous Paracard. Oh, he can't finish. Um... So you know Voluptuous Paracard. Bowden Bowden is, uh, is a longtime uh, member of the Swoodley Poopers but he, he, because he started out with Swindon Town um, when he was a, a, a youth player um, in the Swindon Town youth system um, when he was eight or nine years old and, and has been a member of the junior squad for many years and uh, moved up to the senior squad last season. Um, he's not, to be fair, had a lot of playing time, and I think what, what's going to happen, he's going he's to go out on loan next season. Uh, to a, a League Two side or League One side where he can get some playing experience. And then, um, you know, we'll see if he can make... Oh, Bowden, Bowden, he's a finish! No, wait, that was Stone Cold Steve with the C, Austin, who's starting in midfield today. So, he's our captain, and uh, he's playing like it. Great finish from Stone Cold Steve with the C, Austin. As you can see, by the way, Scunthorpe United have about 30 fans in the audience. Um, Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers seem to have more people, even though we are away. Um... That just speaks to the loyalty of the Swoodley Pooper supporters. Speaking of which, I want to thank all of you um, for, for loyally supporting the Swoodley Poopers, even in our hard times. Um, and uh, even when Stone Cold Steve with a C Austin makes uh, uh, somewhat inappropriate comments about the John Greens, etc., you guys always, um, oh boy, well, 
Look at that. We kept it out of the goal. You guys are always being, uh, you're always very generous supporters, and I appreciate it. You know, Smith isn't not fat, it occurs to me. Um, so anyway, um, the uh, Bowden Bowden has been with the has been with the club a long time, and I think that he just needs to probably go out on loan. Um, Sir Cuthbert, who you just saw uh, completely miss a tackle, um, his full name is uh, Swindon Town Swoodley Pup Swindon Town Swoodley Pooper Sir Cuthbert or Sir Swindon Town Swoodley Pooper Cuthbert. I can't remember. Anyway, um, the guy legally had his name changed to include the words Swindon Town Swoodley Pooper. So, uh, obviously, he's going to factor into the, oh, voluptuous paracard. Alice, I hope you enjoyed seeing that at home. It's a voluptuous paracard. He does the airplane. He's flying, and now he's sliding on his knees, and the Swoodley Poopers rejoice. We're up 2-0. Frankly, this team, which is infinitely inferior in every way to the club we put out um, last game, is playing better. Um which says a lot about how much um, what really matters in this game is uh, is not skill level all the time. It's uh, how the team plays as a team. And uh, frankly, this might shape my thinking about the FA Cup final and who I should start. Uh, you know, those, those guys with all their purported quality, um, if they're not going to play the kind of football that, that Swoodley Poopers play, then, um, you know, they're not going to play for us, and it's pretty much that simple. Um, so uh, so that's the end of the first half. We're up 2-0 thanks to goals from Voluptuous Paracard and Stone Cold Steve with a C. Austin to Swindon Town stalwarts, guys who have been around uh, for a long time and played very heroically. Wow, that is a small stadium. Goodness. Scunthorpe United um, playing above their quality, above their level here in the N-Power Championship because uh, they appear to have a stadium um, that, uh, that seats 400 people. So... Um, also on this team, so S Sir Cuthbert it will will play a role next season. Um, the exact nature of that role remains to be determined. He's a good player, and and I like him. Um, I've always I've always liked playing with him, but um, I have some questions about his overall tackling ability. Uh, he's tall, which means that he scores more goals than the average um, than the average uh, cent center back. And of course, we love goal scoring. For instance, when Bowden Bowden scores, Bowden Bowden with a heroic second goal as a Swoodley Pooper. That is his second goal at the senior level for the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers. He just trapped the ball, let it go down, and then just popped it in the goal. Really proud of Bowden Bowden, who, um, you know, again, I hope he factors into our future, but next season is probably going to be out on loan um, uh, to see if he can uh, just improve his overall quality. Also, he gets paid quite a bit more than um, I'm comfortable with and uh, that's the kind of that's the kind of luxury that we're just not going to be able to afford in the Premier League here he is again Bowden Bowden goal he fails to finish and he puts his head in his hands because he feels ashamed all right so um, these substitutions will do you no good by the way I have to remember during the FA Cup final I have to do substitutions that's going to be key to my success against Chelsea um so there's, 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 oh boy, Sir Cuthbert has not had a good game, really, by any measure. Um, oh, that was a nice, actually, I take it back. That was a really nice tackle that he just made. Gartland, not going to be a member of the Swoodley Poopers next season. Um, I'm just going to be frank with you. Uh, he doesn't have the quality. Um, he's never really become beloved of the fans, you know? Like, he's not a fan favorite. And uh, as such, I just don't see him having a role uh, for, for our, our club next season. Um, Again, Smith is another guy. I think I don't necessarily see him having a big role uh, with the club next season. Uh, the guy you're watching right now, Grange, I don't think he's going to be on the club. Taylor Fletcher likely will be, um, just because I like, I like the cut of his jib. I always have. Um, I will say, you know, if, if Grange could surprise me. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't think he will. And then the, the wingers are, are the guys who play defensively on the wing. Um, none of those guys are, are going to be on our team. Like Caddis. Caddis played, had a great season last season. He's had a terrible season this season. And as well as Denazen, or Denazen, whatever his name is, he's had a terrible season this season, and he's not going to be part of our, uh, our future plans. And, I, you know, I've had frank conversations with these guys, all of them, where I, where I told, them, told them this. You know, and, and, and it's not – they've been helpful on the practice field, and in a lot of cases um, we're going to miss them. And I, I think that they're nice guys. I actually don't like Denazen that much, but I, I do like, um, 
I do like a lot of them, but you know, it, it, it's 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 a matter of what's good for the for the club. We've got to think about what's in the long term best interest of the club because ultimately the Swinnertown Swoodaloo Poopers are not about any individual you know it's about the idea of the club and, and the support of the oh boy that was not pretty um, and, and, and the supporters you know it's about, it's about you and what's going to make you happy and ultimately um, what we all want to see that's a great save from Smith what we all want to see is success and uh, success in the Premier League is going to be a lot harder to come by than uh, success in um, in the N Power Championship, I, I'm sure you'll remember the games earlier in the season that we were playing when we were playing European competition. Um, due to our role as FA Cup finalists, we got to play some games in Europe, and we got the uh, I don't know how to say this politely the Scunthorpe beat out of us. Um, pretty much every game, uh, the Scunthorpe was kicked out of us, and. Um, that's not something we want to see next season, right? We don't want to go up to the Premier League and literally lose every game, um, which is what will happen if we, don't, if we don't play smart. So we've got to do what's in the best interest of the club, what's in the best interest of the supporters, and, and, and ultimately I think that's going to also help these players because you know, I want them to be proud and excited on the day they help the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers go to the Premier League for the first time since 1993. Um, and I think they will be. I think um, I'm starting to feel it. I, I, right, right now, playing with the reserves, I feel it happening. Um, and won't it be magical when they are on the field next game when we officially... Oh, voluptuous Barricard, almost. Won't it be magical next game when the Swindentown Swoodley Poopers secure their spot in the Premier League? I can't wait. I hope you can't either. See you next time on Hank Games Without Hank. I won't see you. I don't know the outro. Best wishes.